Okay, hello, this is Dr. James, and today we're going to use our uh, Radicode spectrum analyzer, gamma ray spectrum analyzer to measure the spectrum of our cobalt 60 source. Let's take a look at this. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here's our spectrometer. I'm going to turn on the light. It's not going to help. And here is Cobalt 60. Oh, look at that. Very cool. Let's see if I can. It's kind of shiny there. It's hard to see in the camera. There we go, cobalt 60. Oh, very cool. Gamma ray. Tells you the gamma ray energies. Half life of five years. I don't know, this is kind of an old source. I've had it for quite a while. Probably a lot longer than five years. Let's just see if it registers anything. Where is the detector? Okay. I'm going to get this away from my other sources and make sure we can still measure this guy. Okay. Okay, let's just make sure that uh, this this uh, source has still got some oomph to it left. So let me just bring this thing in. And it looks like it is definitely measuring radiation. Look at that. Uh, maybe I'll bring it a little ways away. So, yep, yeah, I'll bring it further away like so, and it goes into the green. So we are definitely... Uh, set this up down here, and we'll measure the spectrum of this guy. Cobalt 60. Oh, very cool. Look at that. Cobalt 60 gamma ray source. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look at our cobalt spectrum. So this is co cobalt 60. Okay. And uh, I'm just going to... So I have it subtracting off the background, but I think it would look pretty similar if, it, if I didn't. Let's just take a look at some of these peaks. So the purple one is the peak that we're looking at, and the uh, looks like cobalt. It's a cobalt sixty peak, and it's one point three three two megavolts, or one hundred one thousand three hundred thirty two keV, is what the uh, textbook value is, and of course mine. Uh, Crystal's reading a little bit high, so it's 1360. Let me see, uh, and see it gives the other line that's suggested in the blue associated with that one. So let's bring the cursor over to there. And so that is another cobalt 60, 1173 KeV, well, uh, 1173 KeV, okay. <clears throat> and there's some other peaks here, and I was trying to figure out what they were, and it's, really seems like there might be thorium peaks or something. I'm not sure if there's contaminants in there, or hopefully I didn't spill some. I took thorium measurements in that same area before, so hopefully I didn't contaminate the area. But that's uh, AC228, which is in the thorium-232 decay chain. And I don't see these other peaks. See, there's three other blue peaks above. I only see one of them, this peak right here which is, uh, oh, okay, lead-212, which is in a thor thorium-232 um, decay chain also. <clears throat> so those are the four peaks that I'm seeing with this uh, cobalt-60 source. And uh, I think I'll go ahead and stop it and save this, and we'll move on to the next spectra after this. Okay, very cool, huh? Again, to save, I hit the three dots. And uh, save spectrum to library. C Cobalt eight days. And we'll hit OK. OK. I'll just go into the library and make sure it saved it OK. OK, there it is. And uh, let's just... Uh, in this recording.
Okay, so here's our chart of nucleides, and there's the address where I'm getting this one, live chart. And here is cobalt-59, which is a stable element. And here's cobalt-60. Here is our uh, element that we're looking at. This is a radioactive element with a fairly short half-life. Uh, let's see, where is the half-life? Okay, it's right there. It's in days, but I think if you convert that to years, it's maybe like five years or something. I forget what that is. You have to do the math. Anyway, so this is beta decay, so it will decay into nickel there, and it gives off some high energy gamma rays. Okay, and uh, we think we saw those in the spectrum. So the way you can get something like this is if you have uh, cobalt-60 in a nuclear reactor, and if you have some slow neutrons and it absorbs a neutron, it will go up to cobalt-60. Okay, and then that becomes radioactive. Okay. And so that's where cobalt-60 comes from. It's an unnatural man-made element made in nuclear power plants, nuclear reactors, with neutrons. Okay, so I imported my data into a spreadsheet. Again, I use, uh, this one's LibreOffice. It's free. You can get that on Windows or Linux. I use Linux because I hate Bill Gates. And uh, I hate people who... Uh, charge for things that are bad for you <laughs> like you know what i can't even talk about because everything's censored on this platform because he's into some other nasty things that are really harming people anyway here is our cobalt 60 spectrum and this is on the log scale and this is what it looks like on a linear scale and here's our let's see our main peaks are i wrote them down over here 1173 KeV and 1332. Okay. And so here is our linear scale. This must be the 1173 peak right here. And here's the 1332. And let's uh, compare this with our other spectrum. Because remember, I'm trying to build up a library so we can look for unknowns. You should, if your spectrometer is a good spectrometer, you should be able to put an unknown in there and distinguish it from a known. And here's my other spectrum that I have on here. I have the thorium, radium, uh, americium, and uranium. And so now we are adding uh, cobalt-60. Okay. And here's our cobalt-60. And again, I scale these so that they're all about the same level. And... Uh, Cobalt-60 has got spectrum that extends way out here, much past a lot of these other ones. So it's pretty high energy gamma rays. Okay. And here I zoom in, I trun truncate some of these uh, higher frequencies out here so you can look more closely at the spectrum. And this peak looks pretty similar to thorium. Maybe there's uh, some other contaminants in there. But maybe that's part of the gamma ray spectrum, I don't know. But here's our two main peaks that cobalt's known for, the 1173 and the 1332. Okay, and zoom in a little bit more, and I guess this peak is not actually the same as thorium, it's actually a slightly different peak, so I'd have to look into that, but here's the lower energy peaks of our five different suspects here. And so there we go, we got cobalt added to our uh, arsenal of uh, knowns now and uh, looks like our gamma ray spectrometer is working pretty good it definitely gives you a unique spectrum for each of these different types of uh, radioisotopes anyway hope this helps you out this is uh, dr james and thanks for watching